Hi everyone, I have been sent this um, book by um, Culliger to show you in a video. So we're going to do a little flip through and some colouring in it. Now this is, um, as it says, Black and White Large Mandelas 2. I haven't got one so I don't know how it would compare with that one. Um, and it is, as you can see, spiral bind. It's got a little bit bent in the post but that's okay. And uh, we have a very colourful cover. Now colour your books are always um, really nice paper. So I will show you that. You can see how thick the cover is. Um, but the paper is also very thick as well. So here is our sort of um, this book belongs to page. I'm guessing you can just write your name. I think the reason they leave it blank is because um, they're a French company. So if they don't put uh, words on there, then it can be suited for anybody really so I think that's a rather good idea. Now you can see the paper is very very white. Now the size of the book it's rather large. Um, I've got some A4 size paper here. Yeah it's A4. Uh, maybe it's very slightly wider. No maybe not. So it's A4 size which is um, UK standard letter photocopy paper size. But um, I can't zoom out anymore, so I'm only just in shot because of the height of my camera. But I'm sure we'll be fine. So here is the paper. I'm just going to fold it so you can see how thick it is. I don't know how easy it is to see the thickness, but it's, you know, it's thick and it's, it's very, very smooth. Now, I do find that it's a problem when I use water-based markers, that they... Although they soak in eventually and they don't muck up the paper, they do take a while to dry because of the smooth surface. But it works very nicely with pencils and we'll do some pencil colouring in a minute. Now we have our sort of copyright page and you can scan this and find out about the company and their books and things like that. I think they have exactly the same page in every book. And we are single sided by the way, um, see it's a blank page behind, which is always rather nice. Now because the pages are so thick I don't even bother to put a piece of paper behind the page. I think I would if I was using um, alcohol markers. For example I haven't tried those in this book. Well I haven't tried anything in this book but in any of their books. Okay so we have a sort of mandala design here which is quite floral with um, butterflies on a white background. But I think the next one yeah, it's always hard to know if you've turned the page properly because the pages are so thick. Again, it, it's got a bit damaged in the post, um, which is a shame. This is obviously on a black background. We have a sort of turtle design with a mandala -y, um thing going on, which is my son is laughing in the background there. Um, you may not hear him through the closed door. I think this is probably a rabbit. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, it must be your hair. It looks like we might be every, no, not every other one. So now we have another black one. Now I do enjoy colouring with black backgrounds, but you do have to be quite careful that you use a vibrant enough pencil so that it stands out, but nothing too dark so it doesn't disappear. It's a little bit of an art to getting it right. And uh, I find that quite a nice challenge. I have a little bird here. A sort of almost like it's flown on top of this circular mandala so it's a little bit different and it's at no it's perched on the edge because there's its tail going through behind so this is almost like a wreath so there's a hole in the middle and there's the bird oh and this one is a sort of nautical theme with a maybe a whale's tail maybe a fish's tail sort of a watery look around the edge and then another sort of tail um, I think these are tails too. I thought they were sails of boats to start with, but I think maybe no. Maybe they are tails. And now we have another butterfly design with some, I think those look very much just like leaves. We've got a nice little heartish shape there as well. I'm trying to turn over. There we go. So another one on black. Sorry my light is so glary. Um, I've had to shut the blind because it's so sunny. 
so I've um, got a glary light instead. I don't know, we, I think the light is better, easier to see, particularly when we start colouring. A little fox, I like the sort of more geometric shape on that one. Oh, and what's that, I wonder? Got some bits. Some sort of wild cat, I would say. And the whale, I like this whale one. I think it's really cute. Mm. And this one just looks to me um, a statue or a selection of plants, maybe. And here we have one with the flowers. Oh, a chameleon. Oh, that's fun because you can do it any colour, which is um, always interesting. Oops. Getting more and more bent down on this corner. I did get quite a damaged one, but it doesn't matter. Um, fish again. Oh, and this one is a flower. That's nice. Oh, my book is sliding. Oh, and a lion, I'm saying, with the crown, that king of the jungle. We have a flower and a little moth butterfly. Moth butterfly, I don't know. Another very pretty looking floral design. Sorry, it is symmetrical. The book is sliding. Another different um, one on black. I do like colouring on black. It's quite fun. Um, some bugs. Oh, a large bug. I think it looks like a ladybug. Ladybird, as we say here. Bug. Oh, it's sliding. Trying to rest it on my tripod. It's not the most successful method. There we go. Starfish. It's rather nice. There's quite a lot of underwatery ones. See, you could even say that was sort of watery. Which is quite pretty, isn't it? And a floor. This one's a bit darker. So we've got some dark here in these lines, but it's still nice. And, you know, it's a bit of a mix of dark and light. And nice floor one again. Uh, owl, I would say. Oh, mushrooms. Lots of mushrooms. Always fun to colour, but on a black background, which is very interesting. Mm, fighting. <laughs> there we go. Another sort of maybe leafy look. Oh, a toucan. I think he was the last. Yeah, let's do some colouring. Let's get on. I'm going to turn the book this way and do this page. So it is round the wrong way, but I can't. Unless I'll cut it. Yeah, I guess I if I tip it behind and do it like that and come in closer. Now I've grabbed my Chromaflow pencils for two reasons. Firstly, I don't think I've tried Chromaflow pencils on the colour yet paper, so I thought it would be a fun um, thing to do. And also, I happen to have them out because I've been using them earlier. So, you know, two, two reasons. I'm gonna start in here and we'll just do some green. Let's grab our basil and get him out. I sharpened all these because I actually took these out with me today. I had to go out to an appointment and I knew I'd be waiting around. So I took this little tin because it's a 24 tin and the lid stays on fairly well. I'm just going to do the ends. It's going down lovely. Um, but I used to, I've got a little calm colouring book which is pocket size which was brilliant. I took that and I only waited, I waited for 20 minutes and it got a quarter of a page coloured. But I was a bit distracted because there were other people around I was nattering. <sighs> Can't imagine that, can you? <laughs> this is foliage and I'm going to finish off the leaves with this. Just go over the top of the basil. And then fade it towards the middle. Didn't leave much white on this one, did I? Yeah, I had to get out really early. It was a eight o'clock, eight fifteen appointment. I had to be there fifteen minutes early, and uh, so I had to get a train to the. Place.
place. Um, I'm trying to decide on a flower colour. I think it's a nice bright red. I'm going to use. Oops. I'm going to use the scarlet. I'm just going to try and do them darker here and fade towards the tip of the petal. Um, yeah, I um, so I had to get there for eight. So the only train I could get was at seven. So that meant I had to leave home at 20 past six. And before leaving home, I had to make lunch boxes and get breakfast. I have a bit of breakfast and a drink and get myself showered and up and everything. So I got up at 5.15, set my alarm for five. Ooh. Luckily tomorrow, um, I don't have to be out particularly early. So uh, that will help us. So we might be able to get a little bit of a lion. It's going down nicely. Now I'm going to do the centre of the flower. We've actually got three layers to our flower centre. So I'm going to start with the golden sun and do the outer layer. Yeah, these um, pencils are really suiting this paper, lovely. Then next layer I'm going to do the amber gold. Now I would normally blend them together, but because we've got a line, I'm just using that. And then the sun yellow. All done. Now, we've got these circles. I don't know what they're supposed to be. I'm just going to make it bright and jolly and use the orange. It's called flame to do those with. Keep them all the same. Yeah, it was quite the um, busy morning. But we, um, apparently there was a, I, um, um, a fault um, with the trains. Um, what was it? I'm trying to think of the words. A um, points failure. So a lot of the trains were cancelled on the way back. Um, this is denim. I'm going to do oops, some of the, these little stripes I fancy doing in blue. Um, yeah, there was a points failure. So not only did my son struggle, the, bus, the um, train he was going to get to uni um, wasn't running. Me and my other son, who were out for this appointment, our train was cancelled too. Luckily, um, the train station where we were was right by the bus station. And we went to the bus station and there was a bus um, due to leave at any minute. You know, I was going to put another colour in there, but I actually think it looks nice with the white. So I'm going to leave it like that. Now we need to do this bit around here. So that was all good. Um, I'm going to use the light blue. I'm thinking blue border. Um, but I don't know what to use that inside colour. Maybe I should have done the light blue on the inside and the dark blue on the outside. Mm, never mind. It's, we're doing it now. So yeah, we hopped on a bus. I haven't travelled on a bus for ages. It was quite nice actually. It wasn't very busy. There's no Wi-Fi. We get Wi-Fi on the train. Um, but the bus is significantly cheaper. The train journey cost £6.20, 30 6.20. The bus cost £2. Right, the inside one. Mm, I could do a violet. Uh, or a lilac. Let's do a lilac. Because my violet needs sharpening and I'm lazy, I'm tired, <laughs> can't be bothered to sharpen. So here's the lilac, I think it will work. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I think for my inside square, I would do the same. Okay, so lilac and light blue. 
um, but we've got this outside bit to do and I'm wondering whether to just do these as if they're leaves which I think I will and will I do them the same as these or differently and what about this swirly bit hmm I think maybe we'll change up the leaves a little bit we've only got three greens so I'm thinking maybe we'll start with a brown instead of a green change it up a little bit so we'll start with a natural brown and do the base with this why not just gently fading it up and obviously I'm not expecting that you've got this book but you might um, feel like using these colour combos for um, leaves that you're that you might colour I'm not actually sure whether the book's been released or not yet I will um, be sharing links in the description to where you can buy it on Amazon I've been, um, I'm hoping I'll be allowed to share my affiliate links but the um, publisher has yet to um, confirm so I think they were going to send me a link that might have been their link to use to do as I'm told right now <clears throat> I am going to go with this colour the um, burnt sienna next so we're going to get a brown more autumnal look to these leaves why not I'm going to go right over this and then draw the colour up the leaf fading towards the tip oh the page is moving just put my hand down on it there we go and they are I feel that because the paper is so smooth um, it feels like Bristol board to me that it um, might be a little bit tricky with a really um, soft pencil in that I'm going to use the foliage for the last bit I think it goes nicely with the browns and again I'm going to go right over everything um, I think it might smudge a little bit um, but I don't know for sure I could test it actually. I haven't got any in here though. But um, it is very nice um, paper if you like smooth. And you can see I've got a few layers building up here. It's not completely toothless, if that's the right word. It isn't. <laughs> What I mean is um, the smoothness of paper is known as the tooth. So the toothier the paper, the rougher it is. Uh, uh, you know, when you run your finger across it, you can feel whether it's smooth or rough. And if it's rough, then you've got lots of space for lots of layers of colour, which can be good if you like lots of layers. However, it will also mean that you will easily see the white of the paper through. Um, think of tooth as a zigzag line and if I'm colouring my colour's going inside the bottom of that V of the zigzag and uh, if that's really deep then those higher bits don't get much colour on and so they'll show up. It's a bit hard to explain. I hope you know what I mean. That's quite a grubby looking leaf isn't it? They look a bit grubby. <laughs> Grubby leaves. Oh well. Now this this bit I thought I might just do with a different colour. Um, maybe what should we use? Like as if it might be the flower rather than the leaf. I thought it might be a bit different. Um, just to make it nice and bright. Um, we have that colour. That's a bit pale. Um, yeah, I think I use. No, this. I use I plump for something, changed my mind last minute. Blush pink. I think it'll go with the grubby. I 
I was thinking of doing it in a um, um, this sort of aqua colour. What's it called? Turquoise. Yeah, turquoise colour. But I thought it wouldn't go with the sort of browns, but this will go better. I'm going to just use the um, magenta. My, oh, I've got hiccups, I'm sorry. For the end one. Just that edge. Maybe a light one here. There we go. Right, now we just have this bit. And it does look a bit like a vine, but we could do it to match the purple and blue edge. I'm thinking, yeah, let's use the turquoise. It's such a pretty colour. And I'm thinking it'll, because it's blue and green, it'll work. I hope. That's my doorbell. Hold on. Right, that was my neighbour at the door. I'm picking up a parcel that I'd taken in for him. So uh, I don't know what I was talking about. We had a very long matter about all sorts of random things. Trying to decide whether to fade this to here or make this darker. I think I want to make this darker. It's quite a pale colour anyway. If I fade it too much, it might just look like there isn't anything at the end here. There we go. I'll do this one as well for the sake of completion, but I'm not going to do um, the whole page. Um, I shall finish it, of course. Well, I say of course, it's not necessarily, but I will finish it. And I will um, provide a completed picture so that you can have a look. Um you know, the whole thing and how it all works together. So I'm nearly done anyway. There we go. Now if you want to darken this very pale colour a little more, you could put some um, of the, um, what's the colour called? Denim, sorry, in there and just darken it. But I think it'll be okay like this. I don't want it really dark. There we go. Another option for you if you were doing something like this, instead of leaving this plain, you could use either a light blue, um, but we've used our light blue here. This colour would look quite nice as a background, I think, behind here. But then I would use something different here. Um, I think a green, because it looks like a vine, a green was my natural choice. But because um, I just wanted it to look quite colourful, which is why I did something a little bit different. So rather than being a vine, which is what I thought it might be, it's now a sort of scroll sort of thing but anyway I am done um, so that is the very beginning of me starting this book now these books are lovely and I don't colour in them nearly enough because I have so many I'm so very lucky um, but they are very nice to colour um, I think anyway um, and you get um, I'm not sure how many designs we didn't look at the back cover did we let's just have a quick look at that because it gives us a little bit of information sorry just turning it over so it says, oh, it doesn't really say very much. It says, beautifully shaded colours are pleasing to the eye, but this joy is purely sensory. It's the drawing, the impression that gives these colours life and soul. Jean-Jacques Rousseau. Okay, I, I'm very ignorant. I've got no idea who that is. But I do like the um, all the colours on the back. Um, hang on, let me come out a little bit. This, um, this mix of colours. I would never think of going orange to pink to blue and then to a turquoise and black. It's very pretty. Then we've got all these bursts of colour around the edge and the, this is the whale which I really love, um, that design. So I'm tempted to maybe copy that idea. But then we've got this background. don't know. But anyway, that's that. So there is that book um, for you. As I say, I will put any links, the links that I have will go into the description if you want to have a look at it um, where you can, excuse me, I always use Amazon links um, because I'm an affiliate. Um, I don't know if they sell anywhere else, 
they've, I'm assuming they've got their own website. Um, and if you scan actually the QR code in the book, it probably takes you there. I will, if I've got any more information for you, I will share it in the description. So go and have a little look. Um, yeah, similar background here. Look, um, yellow to pink to with um, some of our pictures coloured in with some different ideas. Anyway, so I'm going to um, finish there. Um, but um, thank you for watching. Um, I hope that was um, interesting for you. And uh, yeah, any um, questions, let me know if you're struggling. Um, it's often with these, they're available in the UK a lot earlier than the USA. So if there's a link, I will include it. If I haven't included a link, it's because there isn't one. It isn't there yet. But if you want to know more about whether it's being released in USA and when, um, ask me. Um, and I will get back in touch with them and ask them if they've got any info so any anything that you want to know um, let me know and maybe if you want to know if the paper's the same or anything like that any questions I will pass them on to my contact and um, you can find out more but there are definitely some of their books on US Amazon but I just don't know if this one's going to be there yet or even if it'll be on UK it might be in pre-release I'm not really sure but thank you for watching. Hope you have a really super day and happy colouring.